Hello again, friends, and welcome into another edition of Wrestling with Rusty right here on YouTube for Monday, September 19th, 2022. And I told you I would come back to you when I found out more information on the Ricky Steamboat one last match. It will happen on November 27th, 2022. I'm not sure who he'll be wrestling yet but it will be on fight.tv. I'll be back with you at a later date with another video on pre preparations for that. But the purpose of this video, as you can see in the title, is meeting Ricky Steamboat, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. I first met Ricky Steamboat in the 70s, going to Jim Crockett Promotions, Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling matches in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I knew Jackie Crockett of the legendary Crockett family, the youngest member of the Crockett family, sort of the forgotten Crockett that nobody talks about. And I not only met Ricky Steamboat, but I met many others through my friendship with Jackie Crockett from the 70s till about 2007 before he and I stopped communicating. Um, but in that time, I met Ricky Steamboat and many others. And I don't think that there is a nicer guy, not only in wrestling, but the history of the planet, than Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, real name Richard Blood. Um, he was actually born in the area of Poughkeepsie, New York, moved to the Florida, the Florida area, started his training up in Minnesota, in the 70s with Vern Gagne's AWA before coming down to Georgia to work for Georgia Championship Wrestling as an underneath talent. And then Ric Flair saw Ricky Steamboat in Georgia and told promoter George Scott, of the, who was not promoter George Scott, excuse, excuse me, that's wrong. Uh, Jim Crockett, the Crockett family were the promoters. But he told Booker George Scott, that he saw a guy down in Georgia. So I believe, as legend has it, and don't quote me on this part of it, but I believe Crockett made a trade in which Georgia Championship Wrestling got the one-man gang, George Gray, who later went on to become Akeem, the African Dream, in the WWE, even though he was not African. Uh, and in exchange for that, uh, Georgia Championship Wrestling sent Ricky Steamboat to Charlotte. Uh, Rick Flair then went to George Scott, the booker of Jim Crockett Promotions at the time, and said, let me have this kid. And from approximately 1977 until Ricky's career ended due to a back injury, his in-ring career ended due to a back injury in 1994 um, on a regular basis. Um, he will ever be linked with not only Macho Man Randy Savage for his match uh, against Ricky Steamboat at WrestleMania 3, but, but Ricky Steamboat will also be linked forever in the beginning of time with the nature boy, Ric Flair. And I saw an interview last night in which Ricky Steamboat told a crowd of people at an independent wrestling show some years ago that he wrestled Ric Flair approximately 389 times in 365 days. And you might be saying, well, how is that possible? That's possible because back in those days in the seventies and eighties, a professional wrestler was a professional wrestler, not a sports entertainer. And the professional wrestler wrestled six to seven to eight to nine times a week. And Ricky Steamboat even told that same crowd that a lot of those matches between him and Ric Flair, most of which were not seen on television, by the way, um, were double shots, which are two shows on Saturday and two shows on Sunday. And that's how he was able to wrestle Ric Flair 389 times in 365 days. 
But uh, anyway, I first met Ricky in the 70s going in the dressing room to meet people with Jackie Crockett. Uh, Ricky gave me lays, you know, those Hawaiian lays, like not the real ones, but the fake ones that you'd buy at a store, like a toy store or whatever, for a couple bucks. Uh, I wish I still had those. As a child, unfortunately, I did not keep all of my wrestling memorabilia as an adult. I have a lot of old wrestling wrestling memorabilia, some from when I was a child, but unfortunately, th those lays that Ricky gave me, I lost those. Um, but in any event, my point is, I knew Ricky from the 70s. In the 80s, he opened up Rick Steamboat's Mid-Atlantic Gym on Hickory Grove Road in Charlotte, North Carolina. It is now closed down. It's been closed down for many years due to the fact that a lot of corporations now own uh, a lot of gyms across the country, you know, in terms of these chains like Planet Fitness and other types of chains that own multiple locations across the country. So the gym business was not profitable for Ricky to stay in. So he went out of that, got into car racing for a little bit, not, not racing the car himself, but owning or working with a dirt track car team before returning to wrestling and even having his son, Richie, wrestle as Ricky Steamboat Jr. for a while until Ricky had a back injury and had to um, stop wrestling as well. As far as I know, Ricky Steamboat Jr. slash Richie Steamboat is still in the Charlotte, North Carolina, Mooresville, North Carolina area. Uh, Ricky Steamboat now lives in Tennessee with his fourth wife, Sandy. And I haven't seen Ricky since the late 80s, approximately 1989. But if you ever get to meet Ricky Steamboat slash, slash Richard Blood, you will see what kind of a special man he really is. He is an honor to meet. He's pleasant. He's soft-spoken. Um, when I was a young kid... Um, in my teenage years, anyway, I should say it that way, not a young kid, because in your teenage years, you're not young, you're a teenager. Um, I took some people by the gym when it was open to meet Ricky, and even though looking back on it, I probably should not have done that, he was always gracious to them and took time to say hello and meet them back in those days. And just tonight, the reason I thought about doing this video is just tonight I saw a podcast on YouTube called um, Southern Living or something like that with Jake Manning, M-A-N-N-I-N-G, episode 59, and it was titled Ricky Steamboat. I'm not sure of the, uh, the all of the title, uh, but it was uh, Man of a Southern Living or something like that. Episode 59. I can't remember the title because I don't get along with Jake Manning, but I did see an interview that he did some six years ago with Jay, with uh, Ricky Steamboat. And it, it was talking about not only Ricky's career as a professional wrestler, but after life, after not being a professional wrestler anymore. And at that time, he was working as a uh, agent for the WWE he is no longer working as an agent for the WWE. He is now working uh, in an advisory role for the NWA, Billy Corgan's NWA, the National Wrestling Alliance. And Ricky also does uh, uh, comic cons and wrestling autograph signings and different things of that nature. Uh, Ricky talks about how old timers in the wrestling business took time out of their schedule to watch his matches when he was coming up. So he tries to do the same thing for many others. He also saved his money real well. So even though Ricky Steamboat might not have made the type of money of a John Cena or The Rock, Ricky Steamboat still made a very, very good living in the professional wrestling business in his in-ring career and after his in-ring career was over as an agent, especially for the WWE. Having said all that, this video is not about that. This video is about if you ever get a chance to meet Ricky Steamboat, whether it be at an autograph signing, a Comic-Con, 
a wrestling match or anywhere, go out of your way to make it happen. Spend whatever money you've got to spend. Drive ever how long you've got to drive, and you will not be sorry. Um, I'm looking forward to meeting him again someday, uh, Lord willing. I know he's a Christian now and has been a Christian for many years. But even before he came out about his faith as a Christian, Ricky Steamboat was a nice, nice man. Um, and in wrestling, most people are cold, callous, rude, backstabbing, cutthroat, and are just assholes. Ricky Steamboat is none of that. Ricky Steamboat is the type of man that if you had a son or daughter, if you had a son, you would want them to grow up to be Ricky Steamboat, whether they were in wrestling or not. If you had a daughter, you would want your daughter to grow up to date somebody like a Ricky Steamboat. Ricky Steamboat is on his, his fourth marriage and now lives in Tennessee after a brief stint of living in Florida for a number of years, working as an agent for WWE. Uh, but now he's not as, as he's not an agent with WWE anymore, but he still keeps his fingers in the wrestling business and comic cons and wrestling conventions and always has a kind word for anybody that stops to uh, shake his hand or anything of that nature. Um, they don't come much finer than Ricky Steamboat. And one final thing, I'm about a, a, almost 12 minutes into this video. So let me tell you a story. There's a wrestler of the 50s and 60s and 70s going into most of the 80s uh, that was named Abe Jacobs. Abe, Abe worked at every territory there was across the country and was very, and was very famous in professional wrestling. Uh, look up Abe Jacobs on YouTube if you don't know who I'm talking about especially his matches in the Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling era. But my point is, Abe Jacobs later went on to work for Ricky Steamboat and manage Ricky Steamboat's Mid-Atlantic Gym in Charlotte, North Carolina. Abe currently is battling some health issues, but the point I'm trying to make for this video is that um, Ricky and Abe worked together at Ricky Steamboat's gym for a number of years. Ricky's gym closed down. Uh, Ricky had promised to give Abe $5,000 as a um, parting gift for being such a good manager when the gym closed down. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, that did not happen initially. And then there was some anger between Abe Jacobs and Ricky Steamboat. I think Ricky just forgot. I don't think it was malicious on Ricky's part, but I think Ricky just forgot. But several years, several years ago, maybe one to two years ago, um, or maybe not even that long, maybe months ago, uh, with Abe's declining health at age 93, and none of us know how much longer Abe's going to be around on the earth, somebody reached out to Ricky Steamboat to call Abe Jacobs when Abe could still talk. And even though Abe was fuzzy on memories, um, somehow Abe's wife, I think, uh, talked to Ricky. And I'm not sure of their conversation. And even if I was, I wouldn't mention it here. But I'm not. But somehow, Ricky was either told or remembered that $5,000. And a few days later, after the phone call, uh, either before or after the phone call, not sure what happened first, uh, the $5,000 check came in the mail. So that just goes to show you the amount of character that Ricky Steamboat has because I've got credit cards that I can't even pay from last month. And I've got other bills that I'll never pay simply because I can't afford them. That's just going to have to go down as a bad mark on my credit. But even after all these years, Ricky Steamboat remembered that he promised Abe that $5,000. And even though he was late getting, the, getting him the $5,000, he, 
he still got the $5,000. And more importantly, he called to check up on Abe. And uh, Abe Jacobs is a great man. I haven't talked to Abe recently because Abe's health is declining. But um, Abe is a good man. Ricky is a good man. And you can't find two nicer individuals in the wrestling business. So be sure to check out Ricky the Dragon Steamboats. One last match for Big Time Wrestling on Fight TV, November 27th. As I get more information as to how much it costs and who Ricky is wrestling, I'll bring it to you here on the channel. But as of right now, all I know is it's November 27th. And I'm not sure about the location, but I believe it's in Raleigh, North Carolina. But if I'm wrong, wherever it is, um, it will be streamed, hopefully, on fight, F-I-T-E, dot TV that you can get on your smart TVs or any supported device like Apple TV, Amazon Fire Stick, Amazon Fire Cube, or all those streaming devices, Roku, those types of things. But anyway, as the date approaches, I'll bring you more solid details on Ricky Steamboat coming out of retirement for one last match. He has not wrestled since approximately 2010 when he did a short-lived uh, return angle with Chris Jericho. So this will be one last match for Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, also known as Richard Henry Blood Jr., one of the nicest guys in the history of the pro wrestling business. Ricky, if you, if you ever see this, I love you, and I hope to see you again soon. And if anybody knows Ricky that can send him this video, please feel free to do feel free to do so. Please also feel free to like the videos on this channel, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends to subscribe to the channel. And that's going to do it for me, Rusty. I'm out of here. We'll see you next time. And until we meet again, my friends, God bless and happy wrestling, everybody. Ricky Steamboat, you're one of the greatest. Take care, everybody.